Separate work teams were also collecting mail, personal and desktop items from offices to be decontaminated off-site in what was dubbed the critical item removal. Crews working inside makeshift isolation chambers double-bagged items and placed spore strips inside for confirmation of bacteria disinfection. After being cleaned with a decon solution, the bags were loaded into tubs and finally into large Gaylord boxes, typically holding four to 500 pounds. A logistics contractor then loaded the boxes into trucks for transport 100 miles to Richmond, Virginia, where the critical items would be sterilized with ethylene oxide. We provide that chain of custody along with the actual transportation. We inventory these Gaylord boxes, these large containers, as they're put on the truck, they are sealed, and they are controlled by an individual barcode. And there is a DDD courier that accompanies the entire shipment as it's transported down here via surface transportation, tractor trailer primarily. When they're received down here, they're inventoried again to make sure that the same number of pallets have been received. The critical items are then put through a 20 to 24 hour ethylene oxide sterilization process that kills any anthrax spores in or on the items. The process is used extensively to disinfect medical equipment and clean sensitive museum artifacts and documents. The containers are first warmed in a pretreatment chamber to bring the material back up to normal room temperature. After pretreatment, they're moved to the sterilization chamber for a process somewhat similar to the heart fumigation, but on a much smaller scale. A vacuum is pulled to remove oxygen from the chamber. Heated nitrogen is then introduced, which purges any remaining oxygen and raises product temperature. The nitrogen is vacuumed out and steam is introduced to raise humidity, which preconditions the materials for the receipt of the ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide is then pumped into the chamber for approximately six hours. The pressurized gas diffuses and becomes uniform throughout the chamber, penetrating all products in an equal concentration, effectively killing the anthrax bacteria without damaging the contents. After sterilization levels have been reached, the ethylene oxide is vacuumed from the chamber. The chamber is then subjected to a series of nitrogen washes to ensure the removal of any trace levels of the toxic gas. Air is then introduced and atmospheric pressure is normalized. The boxes are then removed from the treatment chamber and placed in another cell where they receive a four-hour ambient air wash before being returned to Capitol Hill. 